Hi, Gemini. I'm Pam, the Lucky Mermaid, Psychic Seer and Modern Mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for May 2023. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you in this month of May and perhaps beyond because timing will be different for all of you in these general readings. Remember, sometimes your rising sign and your moon sign will resonate more for you than your sun sign. And if you are born on the cusp of your sign, some months your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there. So you might want to check that out. This recording is for Gemini Sun, Gemini Rising, and Gemini Moon. I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot Deck in this reading. And happy birthday to the Geminis that are born in May. I hope you have a very happy and blessed solar return. All that being said, now on to your May 2023 Psychic Tarot reading. The first card you have, Gemini, is the Six of Rods, which is victory after a battle. So you're starting out victorious in this reading. And I'm going to tell you right now, which you can see when you look at the picture in the beginning of the readings, you have four Rods cards, one right after another. So that's very interesting. So Rods symbolize growth, expansion, the birth of something, uh, change. It's very, very interesting. So uh, keep that in mind as you're listening to the messages in this reading that you had four in a row. It's like some of you are going to take some kind of chance, risk, or go to bat for somebody uh, or for something you believe in, and it's going to work out. And where you may have put your foot in your mouth before, this is not a situation where you're going to do that. You're going to be strategic and planting. Sorry, something's itching. You're going to be uh, planning carefully and strategizing before you take any risks or gambles or, uh, you know, stand up on anybody's behalf. You're going to go about it in the right way not impulsively. Some of you are going to get lauded for a great work business deal or some great work or thing that you did where people are going to be like, yay, Gemini, you did a great job. Bravo. That kind of energy is going to be coming at you in May about something you did maybe previously. I don't know that you were doing it in May, uh, and getting the accolades in May. I feel like you did it in a, a couple of months ago. And if you have any important business meetings or anything like that, you're going to walk out of it going, I nailed it. Or if you have a job interview, I nailed it. Like that's the way you're going to feel like, like you presented yourself uh, very properly, professionally, or, you know, anything, any kind of presentation you have to do. But uh, my guides did specifically say walking out of a meeting. Uh, but it could be uh, even if you're making some kind of uh, presentation. And you may find out that you get granted some kind of opportunity to do something. It could be a new job. It could be a short-term gig. Uh, it could be some other kind of opportunity. But you're going to find out that you get the chance or awarded some opportunity. And you're going to be quite engaging and you're really going to be communicating well and speaking from the heart in anything that you are doing. You're going to be quite uh impassioned and like I said speaking from the heart and whatever this is it's going to pave the way and clear the way and pave the way for you to move forward and do something else so this 
accolades, this bravo, this, you know, whatever it is, you feel like you nailed it. It is just a stepping stone to pave the way further for you. So the next card you have in your reading, here's another rods card. Like I said, you have the page of rods. This is a fire sign person, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. It could be you if you have a rising sign or a moon sign that is a fire sign. Uh, if you have an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, uh, rising sign or moon sign, but pages can be children. They can also be adults that are immature or young at heart, and they can also be messengers. And this page would be a messenger about uh, work, business, enterprise, growth, birth of something, or communication. If you had any account or something taken away from you, or an account leave you, if you deal with accounts, it comes back to you. This could also be uh, a client, a customer, or a patient, if you don't deal with accounts. And they're going to come back and say to you, I can't get a better deal anywhere else, or I can't get your level of quality and products or in your products and services anywhere else. It's somebody that comes back because they ventured out and they found the grass is not greener somewhere else. This could also be a love partner that you two were dating or in, in a relationship and they left because they thought maybe they were going to find somebody else better than you or better for them than you, but they're going to come back and say they were wrong. You may be really, really having to keep track on your money, uh, how your money is growing or, or lessening, um, like keeping track of your money, budgeting, watching the financial systems, uh, you know, the, the bond market, the stock market, the crypto market, the housing market, the interest rates, like you're going to be, uh, like really keeping an eye on it strongly monitoring it. You could also have, if you have any children that have moved out, they could be saying, I'm coming back. I'm going to tell you right now, regardless of who this is, the coming back energy comes up the strongest. First, it came up like an account. Then it came up like it could be a client, customer, or patient. Then it comes out that, that it could be a love partner. And then now they're telling me it could be a child that uh, moved away from home that's coming back. So look for somebody coming back to you in May. Could be an old love from long ago that you broke up with even. You may look at them like their insistence is futile. You may also look at them like they're kind of bullheaded or stubborn. They're going to look at you like you have to listen to reason. I was wrong. So that's the vibe I get from this whole circumstance. So the next card in your reading is the two of rods, which is uh, partnership and business, partnership and romance. It could also be something you're making or creating and putting out into the world to the public. Um, so we'll see what page of rods means for you. I'm sorry, two of rods means for you. And this is your third rod card out of the four. You could be making amends with somebody from the past. You could also be rewriting or redoing some kind of contract. Re rewriting, redoing, and renewing. Those words came up here. And you may feel like, I want to stay out of like mixed up, complicated business. Whatever this is, it's got to be cut and dry. And you may also be mulling over some things that you've done in the past. And you're like, I need to rework some things that I did before. Uh, and, and again, make things simple. So that could be the way you go about earning your money or 
the way you go about handling your business or customers or clients or whatever it is, you may be doing some mental review and thinking about it like, well, I maybe I didn't go about that the most uh, straightforward way. Maybe what I was doing was making things more complex and complicated than they need to be. So now I need to revise it and streamline it uh, moving forward. You could have to take some kind of blood test in May. It could be getting blood work done by your doctor is indicated for some of you. This could have to do with, uh, for some of you, it could have to do with sugar, like you know, sugar in your blood. For some of you, it could be about thyroid, but for others of you, it could be something, for some of you, it's something completely different. And I feel like once you get the results of this test, that it's going to get you on track in some way. So you may have to alter what you eat or alter, you know, alter your drinking or your dieting or your diet in some way or alter something. Uh, and I feel it's related to food and drink. It, you may have to adjust or alter what you're eating and drinking based on the results of this test. Some of you could have an engagement of marriage or some marriage proposal come to you or to one of your children or grandchildren or a sibling. That also comes up here. You may find that you are going to investigate why you do things. Turns out it's based on your personal astrology. So you may really want to get a, uh, have a session with an astrologer that can dissect your birth chart and tell you, especially the pitfalls of why things don't work out in a certain way, or, you know, when you do this or that, it doesn't work out. Like, you need to get to the root cause of why, because once you know it, you can stop doing it. Uh, and it lies in your astrological birth chart or either your solar return or both. To get more psychic messages and predictions from my spirit guides, please check the description box below this video for the links for my most recent videos for Vimeo. I look into very specific topics using a variety of divination tools to bring you more accurate predictions for your astrological signs. These links and descriptions are also available on the videos page of my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. Thank you. And the fourth card you have in your reading for May of 2023 is the Ten of Rods, and this is moving on to new and better horizons with 10 rods of burden on your shoulder. And these 10 rods of burden are actually knowledge and experience you've gained that will help you as you move on to new and better horizons. Some of you Geminis have worked a lot and saved a lot and you are going to put this money to good use and you may be planning on moving to a different town, city, state, province, country, I don't know, or just move into a different, you know, like I said, town or even to a different house or property within the town you live, moving. I feel like you're trying to upgrade in some ways you may be looking for something a little bigger or possibly newer or both. Some of you could be taking things out of a garage or an attic or a basement or a storage unit and moving them, especially if you have things in storage. You may be taking them out and moving them into your environment or a new location. You may also be sorting through things like paperwork, documents, and these things you may be scanning them into the computer or putting them into some kind of file, whether it's on the computer or in literal filing cabinets. Uh, I get you going through documents, paperwork, and you're filing them one way or another, computer or in a filing cabinet. 
you may even be, get, some of you Geminis may be concerned about your complexion. You may also be thinking about doing some kind of fasting that could be in relation to your complexion. It could be for other reasons, it could be for uh, religious reasons. It could also be for dieting reasons. Uh, but for some of you that are having issues with your skin, you could be fasting. Maybe you're going to try to do some kind of test about allergies. Uh, I don't know, but fasting and uh, issues with skin come up here for some of you. You may also find that you're very involved in making numerous charts and graphs in May. Or maybe you already did it in April or you're going to do it in June and July. But uh, making like I'm seeing you work on charts and graphs and it could be for work or it could be for your own personal reasons and use. Now, the last card you have in your reading is very likely you. You have the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Swords is an air sign person. This is Aquarius, Gemini or Libra sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. So it's likely to be you. And this was the only non-rod card. I find that very weird. <laughs> I don't know if that happens too much uh, in your reading for May. If there is some kind of position you want or job you want, a new job, or a new or a promotion or a new position at the job where you work, you are going to be completely going for it in May. You're going to be very competitive in May. You may say, look at all the things I've done. Look at what my quotas are or my clients, whatever, whatever it is. And you may say, compare it to the other people that are looking for this job or trying to get promoted. And you're going to see, I'm the best person for this position. Uh, and that could even be if you play sports, if you're on a professional sports team, or if you are, uh, or even if it's like for recreation, I don't know, but so it could be a sport, it could be at a job, it could be if you're trying to get a, a certain account or a business to buy your products and services. Uh, you're going to be very competitive about it and telling them to look at your track record, look at your look at your stats, whatever it is. I see you Gemini's feeling like you're the one that deserves it and you're not going to be shy or afraid about speaking up and going for it. Some of you may really decide you want to make something about your appearance look completely different. You, you may be changing your hairstyle or hair color comes up the strongest. It could be some other thing you're doing, but I see you fooling with and changing your hair. Some of you are going to be very inspired that you want to buy new clothes. Maybe you lost weight or maybe you gained weight or maybe you're just tired of your wardrobe. You will be spending money on clothes in May. You may also be very forceful and telling somebody that they need to seal the deal with you and honor an agreement that the two of you have made in, in the past. This could have been a verbal agreement and you may be coming forward now and say, seal the deal. You made the agreement. Now honor the agreement you made. I'm telling you, you're going to be bold in May somewhere. You could be saying that even to a love partner, like we agreed we were going to get married and we're engaged, but we're never following through with it seal the deal, let's get married already, or whatever, whatever it is. I feel for many of you, it's really related to business or work more than anything else. So the best gemstone crystal I got for you to work with, use, or wear in the month of May, 2023, you got Charoite. And Charoite is a soul stone. It's, uh, works with this third eye 
and heart chakra, your third eye and your heart chakra. It's got healing power. It brings love and protection. It also heals the physical body and the emotional body. Charoite is a stone of transformation and it's used to overcome fears. It also helps with, it helps overcome obsession and compulsions. And it also stimulates your inner vision and it's a very good grounding stone. It's going to be a stone that makes you feel at ease and more balanced and more situated in your surroundings. It's going to also help relieve physical stress and pressure that you may be holding in your body, especially in the back of your neck or in your shoulders or in your spine. It's going to be very good in working with you, like broadening your mind, broadening your perspective, uh, not thinking so narrow. It's going to help you open up and see things from a broader perspectives. It's also going to aid in anything to do with your digestive system. So if you have problems with bowel movements, colitis, uh, spastic colon, diarrhea, any kind of like ulcers or anything with your uh, stomach, this stone will be very helpful for you in the month of May. If you're wearing it or when you're resting, you may want to put it on your solar plexus. So this looks like a good gemstone crystal for Gemini's in the month of May, 2023. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you would like to get any of the special video series I record for my Vimeo on-demand videos, where I look into very specific topics using a variety of divination tools. The most recently recorded links I post down below in the description box in the show more section. And they're also listed on my website at theluckymermaid.com on the videos page. You can there go to the videos page and scroll down and see all the video series I've used, what divination tools, I've used how long the predictions go out for and whatever video heading you want you just click on whichever zodiac sign you want under that heading and that link will take you directly to that video on Vimeo. Now the most recently recorded video series I'm going to mention them here. My first is of course the psychic crystal readings for May 2023 for each sign of the zodiac. It's a continuation or an expansion of these psychic tarot readings I do here at the beginning of the month on YouTube and I cover a variety of topics like everything I can think of to look into it's condensed into these videos so if you want to see you know your love life your family life your health uh, work money these things are covered crystal readings so I hope you'll decide to check them out my other most recently recorded videos are the career and finance psychic tarot and crystal readings they go out 12 to 18 months the start date of these videos is april of 2023 and they go until the beginning of october of 2024 also my eclipse effects from the new moon solar eclipse in aries april 20th 2023 psychic tarot crystal and oracle card readings are available also on vimeo these are very detailed readings um i highly recommend if you've never watched any of the eclipse videos to do so many people find they really speak to them and you may also find they speak to you there's a lot of things going on there tarot crystal oracle card you gotta check it out i tell you what's ending for your sign, what's beginning for your sign, what's the blessing for your sign, and what's the karmic lesson for your sign. And 
in addition to that's what the tarot cards are covering and then the crystal and the oracle card so uh if you can do so i highly recommend watching both your rising sign and your sun sign if you can do so in that video series also my what's lucky and new for you in 2023 psychic tarot and oracle card readings as i've said before a lot of times when i hear the in these videos and i'm listening to my guides i think hmm well that might be new but how lucky is it a lot of times these things that sound like okay it's new but where's the luck here you may find it's lucky for you later however in this video series for most of the signs not all I felt like, wow, these sound lucky right off the bat, like you don't have to wait for the luck. <laughs> so you might want to check out those what's lucky and new for you in 2023. Also, my Saturn in Pisces psychic tarot and crystal readings. They start in March of 2023 and they go out two and a half to three years in time. So uh, hopefully you'll check them out. These predictions, they're going to keep going. So you might want to see how Pisces, uh, how Saturn and Pisces will be affecting you. And again, if you can watch both your rising sign and your sun sign, I recommend it. But, you know, some people say their moon sign re resonates with them in these readings. I'd go by whatever resonates with you on my YouTube readings. That's what you should get in the, in the uh, Vimeo readings. So also... Big love readings for singles and couples for 2023. First half of the readings are going to focus on the single people of your sign. The second half of the reading focuses on the coupled people of your sign. However, I recommend watching the entire video because there will be crossover. Sometimes people have asked me, why do you put these in here? I'm single. I don't want to buy the couple or vice versa. Well, there's a couple, a few reasons, but mainly you could start out at the beginning of the year single and later in the year you're a couple and that could switch. You could start out as a couple and later on you're single. That's the main reason, but there are some other reasons, but hopefully you'll check those out. Also, my Horseshoe Tarot Spread 7 card Psychic Tarot Readings. Those videos are extremely popular uh, lots of people like the Horseshoe Tarot Spread. I do one every year. There's seven cards in that reading. There's a lot of information, psychic messages and insights for you there. Those predictions started in August of 2022, but go all the way to August of 2023. So if you haven't watched those yet, you've still got four and a half months of predictions that could still come up there for you in those Horseshoe tarot spread readings also if you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides that you're not going to see here on a video on youtube uh, where i channel these messages through you can follow me on social media pages at the lucky mermaid llc on facebook and the lucky mermaid underscore pam Georgel on instagram and I've started posting these about a year ago on my YouTube community pages as well because some people don't like those other social media pages and they just go to YouTube. So I'm posting it there as well. And it's usually about five paragraphs long and many people find either one, two, or all of the messages resonate with them. So you may find they resonate with you too. So I hope you'll go over to my social media pages on Instagram and Facebook and check them out. And again, I know you guys are probably sick of it. I'm going to mention it again because I just had somebody write me this morning and tell me there's another fake fraud cloned account of mine on Instagram. I got to warn you guys, they copy the pictures. They copy, it looks like me. It, it is pictures of me. I don't really know how they're allowed to get away with doing this. There really should be better protections about doing it. I don't get it, but that is the case. So if anybody contacts you on social media and says they're me and acts like, oh, I'll give you a reading, it is absolutely 100% not me. I only work from my wait list, which I closed in 2018, still have over a thousand people on it. And 
I work from my cancellations list, which is still open, but I will be closing probably by the end of this year because it's just too long and I'll never get through these people. I can only do a few private readings a month because of the recordings I do here for YouTube, the recordings I do on Vimeo, plus I also do Reiki healing sessions for clients and some private readings. I don't have time anymore to do a lot of private readings. So if somebody's contacting you on Instagram, oh, please block them, report them and block them. I can't see them because they block me. The only way I know it happens is when you guys write me and tell me. Otherwise, I don't know. I could search my name and nothing's going to show up but me. But they block me, so I can't see that. So if you could please report them and block them and don't fall for what they're doing. They're trying to get your money and they're also trying to get your private information. So please don't fall for it. If you, The only way you're ever going to hear from me for personally is if you have signed up to be on my cancellations list or wait list. That's the only way. Otherwise, I'm not friending you. I'm not following you. I'm not soliciting you at all. And if you would like to help support the work I do here with my readings on YouTube, I have a donation link down below in the description box underneath all these video series I mentioned. And uh, thank you so much to those of you who have donated. It does mean a lot to me and it does help me a lot. I had a criticism recently of somebody telling me uh, they didn't like me begging for money. I'm just going to let you know that when you buy my Vimeo videos and you donate to my channel, that is my living. I don't have another job. I do private readings, Reiki, and the videos on Vimeo, and if you guys donate. Uh, that's how I earn my living. I don't have another job. I don't do something else. This is it. It encompasses an awful lot of my time. I wouldn't really even have time to do another job. <laughs> Taking care of my son, uh, who still lives at home, and my dog Max, and my property, and, and then the work I do, I don't have time to do any other work. So those of you that don't like it when I mention this stuff in the past, this is my living. I'm not doing some this on the side. So thank you so much for your kindness and your donations. It does mean a lot, as I said, and it does help me a lot. So I hope you have absolutely amazing energy that comes to you this month of May 2023. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.